My name is Dhyanse. I learned meditation at the age of five back in India from my father. I was not associated with any religion or any cult or any kind of you know, spiritual sects that go along in India while growing up. There are so many of them you can pick and choose and or you are born in one of those. Thankfully, I did not participate in any of those. Yet, I maintained a practice of meditation for the last three decades and more or less put in more than 10,000 silent meditation hours for myself, which is nothing but an indicator for me to reach to a point where I realized that now I can share this with others. There is something that is valuable for a normal lifestyle that we guys have. None of here is going to become a monk or go to the Himalayas and meditate for, I don't know, thousands of hours. What we want out of meditation, what we want out of mindfulness is something that is more relatable to our normal lifestyles. You're a yoga teacher, you have a family, yet something about meditation is useful for, for your life, for your lifestyle. Others are working in normal jobs. So my intention is to bring something more authentic to first of all the practice of meditation and secondly something that you can relate to something that you can bring into your daily life and in, and it's not just once in a month thing with this session today we chose the theme of opening the heart opening our our heart center why do we do that why do we focus on on heart in today's session because we tend to work so much with the mind that we are unconsciously just pushed into the mind to that extent that we can't come down of it. We, we are only functioning with the thought, with all derivatives of thought. We only function with the rational, we only function with the logical. And we are so much conditioned to absolutely ignore the illogical, to ignore the irrational and just think about it in your life all the beautiful things all the things that are actually worth living come out of the irrational come out of the illogical love is illogical compassion is irrational but these are the beautiful things of life which are important for us but they don't fall into the category of rational they don't fall into the category of logical they have no place in the utility of this world. That's why we are constantly pushed into the mind, into the thought. And in today's session, the intention is to step down. Step down from the mind to the heart. We'll try to listen to what I'm saying, not from the logic, not from does it make sense or does it not make sense, but just with an open heart and see if this can lead if this can really be something that is a new opening for you today, which you can bring into your life or not. Maybe it's just a nice lullaby and then you can you know, forget about it afterwards and, and continue with your life. So today's session is dedicated to opening your heart. How do we do that? There are two parts to it. One is activating your heart center. In yoga, there are chakras, there are philosophies about seven chakras, there are philosophies about five chakras, there are philosophies about nine chakras. We don't have to go into philosophy. We don't have to believe in the Anahata chakra, that is the heart center that we call in Sanskrit. For this session, you can just imagine that all your energy, everything arises out of a very small point, like a mustard seed, like a very, very small point in the middle of your chest region. For you, it could be an imagination, but while you allow this imagination to grow, you will see that it has implications, definitely positive implications. So try to, in this session, imagine that you have an energy center, which is very much in the middle of your chest. And out of this energy center, energy arises and it spreads out in the world and then it converges back into this into the center so keep this imagination always whenever I say go back to the heart center heart center means not in the heart here 
but in the center of your chest in the center of your heart region in the center of your chest region so here in the middle there is a point and you can imagine this point according to your own version of it it can be as small as possible it can be bigger whatever is comfortable to you and then out of this heart center the energy is flowing outwards and from outwards back to the heart center that's one component of the imagination the second component is the attributes of our heart what are the main attributes of our heart love compassion joy acceptance today we will train these four components of our heart we will go in each of these with an example with visualization and then go back to the energy center so the first attribute love while you are going through this visualization you will visualize somebody that you love that you care about that you that brings the feeling of love in you it could be your parents it could be your wife husband loved ones kids anybody that you that you truly love when you are tuned into the sense of love into the feeling of love then you will take that feeling to the heart center and spread it across everyone across this room and in the entire world and then you come back to the heart center so we start with the heart center we go to the first attribute love we spread it across outside and then bring it back to the heart center then we go to the next attribute compassion think about visualize about somebody who needs your help there are so many people in this world who are unprivileged and somebody must be there in your life that you can think of is going to need your help think of that person think of that situation visualize that so that you can tune yourself into the sense of compassion again just we do with the love we bring this tuning this feeling into our heart center and then spread it across the world unconditionally to everyone and then come back to the heart center the third attribute joy we will think about somebody who brings a smile on our face somebody who is bringing joy happiness in our life it can be a person it can be a situation but important is that we tune ourselves to the sense of joy to the feeling of joy once we do that same procedure we'll take it to the heart center we'll unconditionally spread it out all over the world and bring it back to the heart center last one the most difficult one acceptance there is so much craziness in this world that whenever you come across a situation you would say well i do not accept how this is going how that is going i do not accept this person i do not accept this that person i do not accept this behavior or any other thing that you think that you do not accept today in this session try to break that for yourself and allow yourself to accept that person that situation that factor that anything that you do not accept accept it in the session today unconditionally let it let it come come to terms with it in the session today and say whatever it is i do not agree to it whatever negativity it has whatever um negative implications it has still i accept it my heart is big enough to accept everything that is there and then you spread that unconditional acceptance for the rest of the world for the entire world and you come back into the heart center and you stay there silently relaxedly just be there for the next minutes so i'll guide you through this entire meditation which is a visualization and take you to a place where you can then just be in the heart center for as long as you want the entire sequence would be 20 to 30 minutes maximum depending upon if i see you are you've all fallen asleep then I, <laughs> then i will cut it short um it's up to you you have probably never done this in your life so give it a open try just an experiment for the next 20 30 minutes and see if it can bring something to your life if it's bringing any value to your way of approaching the world
Is it clear how we are going to do that? Are you guys uh, excited to do this? Yeah. All right. Then let's start by closing our eyes, just taking a couple of deep breaths and calm down, be here. Keep your back straight. Shoulders relaxed. Face relaxed. And breathe in and out as naturally as you always do. Take another deep breath in and relax your body completely. Imagine that there is an energy center in the middle of your chest region. This energy center is as small as a mustard seed. Pulsating with energy, vibrating with energy. Allow yourself to settle in this visualization. From this energy center, energy is coming out and spreading out in the world and back into this energy center.
you're breathing in and out from this energy center breath is arising out of this energy center and falling back into this heart center now think of a person whom you love Allow the sense of love, the feeling of love to grow. Tune yourself into the feeling of love Feel this love at your heart center. Now allow this love to spread out from your heart center unconditionally to everyone in this room. spread it further to the entire world allow yourself to go deeper into this visualization that love is arising out of your heart center and spreading out in the world unconditionally to everyone
Don't hold yourself back. Allow your love to spread to everyone rising out of your heart center. And bring your awareness back to the heart center. Keep your awareness at the heart center. Now think of someone who needs your help. Someone who would need your compassion. And tune yourself into the feeling of compassion. Feel this compassion arising out of your heart center and spreading outwards Allow your compassion to spread as far as possible unconditionally reaching everyone in this world. your awareness to the heart center. Simply become aware of the center pulsating with energy, silently vibrating with energy. Keep your awareness at the heart center. Now think of a person, a situation that brings a smile on your face, that brings you joy, And tune yourself into the feeling 
of joy, happiness. Visualize this joy arising out of your heart center and spreading outwards into the world. Your joy spreading outwards bringing a smile on every face it touches. Let your joy spread as far out as possible. come back to the heart center, bring your awareness to the heart center and stay there. you get distracted, just simply bring back your awareness to the heart center. Now think of a person a situation you are in complete disagreement with. Now take this feeling to your heart center and accept it as it is. In the warmth of your heart, let it melt. Accept it unconditionally the way it is. Take this feeling of acceptance and spread it out in the world to everything that is unacceptable in this world. Let the energy spread from your heart to accept everything in this world the way it is 
just the way it is. that bring your awareness back to the heart center and feel the pulsating energy at your heart center allow it to vibrate pulsate. You simply remain aware of it. Feel the silence, the warmth, the peace arising out of your heart center. Just remain aware of your heart center. the silence, in the stillness, for the next minutes. absolutely silent and still Keep your awareness at the heart center and remain silent. slowly bring your awareness back to the body feeling all the sensations in your body <coughs> in your mind in your heart
and very gently and slowly you may open your eyes This is uh, one of the ways in which you can go deep into visualization, into imagination. For some people this is a very powerful experience. I don't know about you, what you experienced. Anybody would like to share anything from the experience if they felt something, if they did not? It was absolutely rubbish. <laughs> Anybody? Yes. Yes. Thank you. And I just wanted to add to that is like what we did today is only one way. If this is something that you do not resonate with, there are so many other ways in which you can enter into the space of meditation. Last time we practiced some breathing meditations, a technique called chaotic breathing. And my intention is to give you every time in every session a completely new way so that maybe if you are not able to enter into this space of meditation from one way you have another way you have m multiple ways in which you could slowly enter and understand also what this word meditation actually means and over a period of time when you enter this space from different doors these doors become irrelevant and you just sit down without having to do anything, you're just there. So the idea is to not get stuck with the way, not get stuck with the technique, but try out these different ways, different techniques, and see first of all what is very natural to you, what's easy to you, what's more relatable to you, and you use that to practice, to try to enter the state of meditation from many different ways, and then eventually, once you're familiar with it, you don't have to use any technique, you don't have to use any apps, you don't have to use any um, guidance or any of that sort and come to a point where like you mentioned that every day you you know you collect lots of things during your day and you can trash them or put them at the right place so that you can start afresh the next hours of your life. Any questions? What is the name of your app? 
it's called meditation easy what we developed within this app is there are 30 techniques which are based on yoga tantra and zen so kind of a mixture of all these three different wisdom traditions to again give you a holistic view on the topic of meditation and these are completely different from each other so you once you try them out you will know um, at least to try it out it's free so you can go and give it a try anything else yes There are two um, components to that answer. One, yes, there is a specific time, which is dawn and dusk. So dawn and dusk are the best times for meditation. When there is neither day nor night, that transition is the time where your consciousness is also in a transition. So you're neither completely asleep, nor you're completely awake, your mind is not in in hyperactivity is the easiest way to move into meditation and the second thing is if your lifestyle is such that you cannot afford to give yourself the time from at dawn or dusk just fix a time at any time of the day at any time of the night in in 24 hours whenever which is more easy for you but try to repeat that at the same time and then you'll see that after a certain time days months at that particular time your body just like you know at one o'clock your body wants food or in the afternoon you get hungry similarly you would you would get hungry for sitting down and just putting everything aside and, and doing a restart on your on your system last 30 seconds anything yes um, what's the connection between yoga and meditation? So why do we do yoga first? And then oh, that's a long answer question. <laughs> it's not for 30 seconds. Um, for that, I need to first of all explain why we do yoga. What is yoga? In very short, I can tell you that what you did today before, um, before the meditation session, it's Hatha Yoga. And so the Hatha is the poses. And these Hatha Yoga Asana, these poses are one out of 196 sutras of yoga that were given by Patanjali. As Rekha mentioned, this is to prepare your body for something bigger, a bigger possibility. And what that bigger possibility is to take the human being to its highest potential. And what that highest potential is to have your consciousness not just limited to your own self and getting stuck with the mundane things of life but to always remain connected to the bigger sense of life that's the in a nutshell in a simple way the purpose of yoga and meditation what is meditation meditation is that space is that in which your mental activity is relatively low almost negligible and your awareness is high and when you subject yourself into that space of meditation lots of things starts to happen all the crap that we carry with us starts to drop which means it's not that we become somebody else we we actually become closer to who we really are and this process of becoming who we really are is also the same as what yoga actually is made for so in a way they are both the same in a way you can also see meditation as a component of overall bigger picture of yoga but to meditation there are other approaches as well beyond yoga so there, there are ways from zen there are ways from tantra that are more direct so just last maybe 15 seconds on that Yoga is more, you can think of it as, as the science of, of taking your consciousness to another level. Zen is an art and Tantra is 
you can say somewhat of a magic and all these three are having the same goal the goal is that you are not getting stuck with just the mundane things of life you live life the way it should be the way you actually are and that's again you know it's a philosophical topic and i can go on talking about it and and it will become more clearer as we proceed along i have uh, made sure that in these meditations that we do a bit of introspection is embedded so that you also give yourself this time to to reflect back and see what this means to you is it just philosophy or is it actually meaning something to your personal life as well so we'll do that in the upcoming sessions for now thank you very much namaste and see you next month